Hello there, so uh, let me show you what I think is uh, the best way to set up a tunnel system uh, to project on a dome surface. So uh, we're going to use uh, Mirror, Trap Code Mirror, and uh, we're going to use, uh, instead of CamSphere, uh, from Lasat, we're going to use uh, Skybox Creator. So uh, let me show you how it goes. So uh, first we create a composition, let's call it Skybox Edit mirror and uh, let's put uh, 1024 by 1024 we did we don't need it to be that long so let's create that let's create a mirror solid on which we're going to apply mirror to so uh, the size of the comp let's put mirror on there and uh, let's uh, set the size to uh, 6000 and 200 by 6200. Let's pull it back and uh, now it's going to disappear. Let's uh, get in the visibility and make sure that uh, these values are high enough so we don't lose it in distance or we don't lose it behind the fog while we do this. And uh, perhaps we can also uh, All right, and um, let's uh, set the band Y value to uh, 0 0.6452, and that will make a tunnel. So it's uh, wrapping our thing around, and uh, let me set that to 90 degrees, and uh, this we're going to set that to minus. Uh, 512 it's gonna set it to the center and uh, next uh, let's just make sure that we uh, fill it all up to the edges um, now we're, we're gonna create a camera 50 millimeters and uh, we're gonna create uh, an ambient light And uh, let's also create a point light. And this light, let's set it in the center and uh, pull it back in the distance. Let's make our mirror shader flat. And uh, let's uh, turn the ambient down. So, uh, we have our light there in the back. It's cool to have a, <coughs> a light at the very end of our tunnel to light all this. Next, uh, what we're going to do is uh, simply apply uh, the script called Skybox Creator. And we're going to say, uh, let's create a composition. Uh, Let's create a skybox, a skybox system from uh, this composition. Use a 3D null. Next, uh, we're projecting on a dome, so let's set that to full dome. And uh, now uh, we want to connect all our mirror system. Now it's not yet correct, but first thing we want to do is make sure that uh, everything we do to this is uh, going to happen in all these uh, compositions that Skybox has created for us with all the other camera views. So let's uh, get here and uh, why is that? Right. So here we have our Skybox Master Cam Controller. <clears throat> let's do this duplicate with connections and uh, now uh, we're gonna have to say uh, first question yes and uh, second question use index instead of name properties yes and use instead use index instead of name for layers no so a good way to remember that if uh, <laughs> if you've ever gone to the stripper uh, you'll know what I mean so uh, yes yes and no 
so that's how I remember it. Then uh, <coughs> you pick up this one that you've uh, created with the script and you're gonna paste that in every one of these instead of this one. So unlock this and paste that here. Let's do the same in each of those. And now uh, we can get back in our mirror edit and we can delete this one. And now this one is uh, will be considered as the master mirror. Everything we do here will happen on the final output. So let's, uh, one good thing we can do is lock this and uh, set up a new computer. Set this up to the right here and uh, get back in our edit and let's uh, make this position a little bit now see what we want to do is uh, make sure that we've got uh, our mirror system that's filling it the final output all the way up to the edges here so before that we're not really uh, all up to the the edge and uh, as soon as we, as we pull it back and that's all our mirror systems connected so uh, we're gonna have the, the right thing we want. So here we might have a seam here uh, where the the tunnel wraps so uh, how we can fix that uh, that's about that thing is about our uh, band value so we can change that in the geometry. So make sure you don't, it's not the F band, uh, Y and X here, it's the band here, the one we've changed earlier. So uh, this uh, 5, 5, and that's too much. So here we, can, we can't even see the number that I'm putting here. But uh, it makes a tiny difference. So that's 5, 2. And maybe we want to put uh, less vertices so we can see it better. And when we're almost at it, we almost have it. So 5, 1, 7. And I mean, that seems to be pretty fine. 5, 1, 5. And I think 5, 1, 7. And uh, that's now we can add more vertices there and it's perfectly seamless so here <coughs> we have our final output and um, how can we make this loop easily uh, we're not gonna move the camera or anything the easiest way to do it with mirror it has a nice little system and it allows us to loop it I think you have to get the last uh, the beta uh, open beta last version of mirrors to have these uh, this panel here but it's pretty nice you can uh, scroll X on the first frame we're gonna create a keyframe for scroll X and let's get that uh, 300 frames and uh, you want to put this value at least as high as uh, the size X so here it's uh, let's copy that in here and uh, if we wanted to loop, the only thing we have to do, we're on the last frame, where is where our keyframe is. Let's just click on here, and now uh, let me set up a keyframe here, one here. So at the this frame, it's uh, well almost, but it's it's gonna be uh, looping. So let's make a keyframe here on frame 299, because that's really our 300th frame since our first frame is frame 0 so this one is our last frame we can uh, close the work area here so um, <clears throat> can even get back here and uh, to test the animation in here so 299 and we might want to put that at quarter since it's a little bit 
we have all this, these uh, mirror systems calculating in there so uh, now we can just uh, test this out and uh, it's gonna have the right distortion I think to uh, for this this is exactly what we want and uh, it's gonna loop so uh, that's a pretty nice way to uh, I think a nice setup for uh, having this tunnel uh, projected on a on a dome surface and uh, perhaps we want this to go on the other side so uh, this we can put a negative value and then make sure we click on this again so um, yeah we have it looping and then the nice thing is that everything that we change uh, is gonna be reflected in all those uh, compositions so the way it's happening I think it's pretty nice setup for uh, for this kind of stuff so and this output is 4k like we've we've put our edit comp is uh, 1024 and this this is uh, 400 and this is 4k and we don't need more than uh, 200 and 300 frames like uh, if we want this to be faster we can just render this out and then uh, we can collect, color correct it in post if it doesn't affect the movement or the distortion or anything and uh, we can like uh, time remap it make it loop for uh, stretch it out for uh, as long as we want and make it loop time remap it to be faster if we want it slower though uh, we can use plugins like Twixter to time remap it like but if we want to get it slower we can just render out more frames so best way to have it to have a version that is really slow maybe so then you can uh, render this out and you can also like uh, use the same thing for the evolution if we get here and I don't think this has to uh, go all the way up to 6000 maybe we can even put 300 will this work and then click here and then uh, let's try this out like yeah so now we have a little bit of evolution in there so might look uh, very cool if you know mirror like you know pretty much what you can do with uh, with this this kind of thing and it's fun because you can have like a little uh, that looks cool on a dome because it, it goes uh, all the way up to the distance so yeah I don't have anything more to say this is uh, how I set up a tunnel system to use with uh, uh, for a dome projection with skybox creator thank you